All right, I'm Katie Bunny, and welcome to the world of twins and multiple hoops. If you're a hooper who loves one hoop, you're going to love two hoops and three hoops and four hoops and more hoops. <laughs> and in this workshop, we learn how to use two hoops on the body and two hoops off the body. So here are a couple examples of things that we did today at Wildfire. So we start off with a simple split. Split is very important. You need to have confidence in your waist, your knee hooping, and your chest hooping. Those three things, you're going to have homework for a while. So let's start off with two hoops on your waist. You keep it nice and straight and forward, very linear. It's like your spine is a metal pole. Very straight, strong, little movement. And then you soften your belly and it comes up. Ow! Crazy. Whoop. <laughs> so then that's coming from your waist up to your chest. Now, if you want to split from your waist down to your knees, it's hard. But same rule applies. Nice, straight, strong, very nice spine. Keep your abs and your core very tight. And you're going to take your hips, you're going to separate them just a little off beat. Turning with the hoop really helps. Oh, you know, I love it. And this is rule number one for you hoopers. Don't wear pants. You want to take your pants off. If you have the more exposed skin, the better. So let's try that again. <laughs> so you get it going on your waist. You're going to break it up. And splitting requires patience. You can go like fast edit like this one. <laughs> All right, there we go. So here you got whoop, knee hooping and the waist hooping, which I totally dropped. But you get the idea. And then we also have splitting down. We have on your knee and on your chest. So there's knee and chest hooping. Mm -hmm. Bring it up top. Hand hooping. Bring it up through here. Waist hooping. Bring it up. Chest hooping. Bring it on. Up. Hand hoop. And this is the split on your hand. And that brings us to hand hooping. Let's no switch. Between hand hooping, there's a couple things, very basic things that we learned. How to put it on to your arm. One, two, three, on. Taking it off, looking back. On, back, on, back. And then split time. <laughs> so that is something. Recovery methods are the number one thing you need to learn with hula hooping, how to recover. After that, we learned how to put it on. <laughs> and do some fun arm movements all with timing. After that, we went straight to the corkscrew and the windmill. Let me show you the difference. This is the corkscrew. Just like point. They're basic point moves, basically. And then we learned how to stand up into a windmill. Stand up, push down. <laughs> so here's the windmill. Break up. So there's endless point moves that you can do with twin hoops, twin hand hoops. Double weave. So you can do tons of fun things. Those are just a really quick recap of the very simple twin hand hoops that we did in our twin practice today. So it's twin body hoops, twin hand hoops, and I hope you have a hooptastic day with your twins and multiple hoops. Happy hooping from Katie Bird. <laughs>